The SS Linda Blanche sank in the Irish Sea on a cold afternoon 108 years ago. This ship was one among the numerous merchant vessels that were downed by U-boats during the First World War. At a glance, the SS Linda Blanche, a modest coastal trader, doesn't stand out from the rest. Miraculously, no lives were lost during its sinking. U-2-1, a German submarine, bravely surfaced and halted the Linda Blanche. With a civil gesture uncommon in warfare, they allowed the captain and crew to abandon ship safely. The Germans then scuttled the ship with explosive charges, conserving their torpedoes. Given the proximity of the sinking to Liverpool, the crew stood a high chance of survival which they achieved. Why then is the sinking of the Linda Blanche noteworthy? Measuring a mere 170 feet and weighing 530 tons, the Linda Blanche's image reveals her to be an unpretentious ship, similar to many of her time. When she sank, she was on a simple voyage from Manchester to Belfast, and her loss was likely inconsequential to the broader war effort. Yet, how has her story survived time, and how did I come to learn of it? Like many, including myself, you probably wouldn't have even known you were introduced to the SS Linda Blanche. But she is the centerpiece of one of the most famous artworks of a U-boat ever created. This artwork was the creation of the renowned German marine artist, Willy Stower. Stower's vast collection spans both merchant and naval themes, including written articles and paintings. Among his most renowned works is an illustration of the Titanic sinking. Although it became an iconic representation of the tragic event, it's not entirely accurate since it overlooks the Titanic's broken back. Stower's artistic prowess was particularly evident during World War I, with many remarkable pieces attributed to him. One of Stower's most striking paintings depicts the sinking of the SS Linda Blanche. In this portrayal, the once unremarkable vessel is transformed into a grand cargo liner, and the entire scene resonates with epic grandeur. While the painting showcases Stower's technical and artistic prowess, it doesn't hold true to the actual event. Why this deviation from reality? It's likely because U-2-1 was led by Otto Hersing, one of the most celebrated U-boat commanders of the Imperial German Navy. On September 5, 1914, under his command, U-2-1 torpedoed the British cruiser HMS Pathfinder off the Scottish coast, marking the first Royal Navy ship sunk in such a manner. While his triumph over the SS Linda Blanche paled in comparison to this, Hersing's most remarkable feats were yet to unfold. In 1915, after the Allied landings at Gallipoli, he took U-2-1 to the Mediterranean. There, he expertly executed submerged attacks on British battleships, sinking the HMS Triumph and HMS Majestic in late May. These victories played a significant role in the British decision to pull back major ships from bombardment duties. Hersing further showcased his prowess by sinking the French auxiliary cruiser Carthage near Gallipoli in July. Recognizing his outstanding contributions, Germany awarded him their most prestigious military honor, the Pour le Mérite or Blue Max. Earning the moniker Zerstörer der Schlachtschiffe, or Destroyer of Battleships, Hersing returned to the Mediterranean in 1916, sinking the French cruiser Amiral Charner off the Syrian coast. But why was the SS Linda Blanche depicted so grandiosely in Stower's painting? Perhaps, given Hersing's distinguished record, it was deemed fitting to elevate his engagements with merchant vessels to the same epic scale as his naval confrontations, and thus, through art, embellishments, and altered representations, legends are crafted. Hersing, a remarkable leader and true hero, surely merited a more accurate homage.